Welcome to Diabetics Hope Channel. This is the channel where we educate you, motivate you, and encourage you to control your diabetes and probably reverse it. I am your host, Wajiko Dongo. And I'm your co-host, Nyambura Madenge. Please remind our viewers what we learned in the last episode. Dear viewers, it is my hope that you have been able to look at the last episode where we talked about type 1 and type 2 diabetes. And we said that if you have been diagnosed with diabetes, you need not to worry. This is because this channel is here for you. We are here to give you hope. We are here to give you strategies on how to overcome diabetes and to probably reverse it. Walimu, what have you planned for us today? Today we have a very interesting discussion on type 2 diabetes. Our viewers, we did agree last time that type 2 diabetes is a disease of adults. Uh, although in the current situation, because of our rice and diet, we have started to see younger and younger individuals being diagnosed with this disease. Diabetes is a disease where blood sugars get too high above acceptable limits. And what are the acceptable blood sugar levels? Now, that is going to depend. Blood sugars are never really constant. So it depends on when they are taken. And we have what we call fasting blood sugars. We have radom blood sugars. We have blood sugars before and after meals. And we also have blood sugars that where we check the sugar levels, sugar average levels in the last three months. And this one we call it HbA1c. Uh, please explain to us the fasting blood sugar. Now, fasting blood sugars are the sugars that we take immediately in the morning when we wake up. It is important that we do this immediately we wake up when we have had no activities. These blood sugars, for a normal person, they are supposed to be anywhere between 3.5 up to 6. If they are above 6, in between 6 and 7 in the morning, we say that they are a bit elevated, and this person we say is pre-diabetic. If they are above 7, we say this person is diabetic, and if you go to hospital and they are consistently above 7, then you will be confirmed to be diabetic. Why do we call them fasting blood sugars? Now, when we use the word fasting, we mean that we have stayed without eating for a period of time. They are fasting sugars because we assume that uh, since you ate last night, maybe around 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, up to morning, you have not eaten anything. That means you have been able to go for 8 to 12 hours without having a meal. So since the last meal, it is 8 to 12 hours. So in the morning, when we measure those sugars, we call them fasting sugars. You haven't eaten for 8 to 12 hours. Why is it important to take uh, blood sugar measurements fasting in the morning when you wake up? Now, this is very important because these are the sugars that help us to determine whether you are diabetic or not. Now, once we carry out activities, sugars fall. So if you wake up in the morning and you carry out activities, the sugar levels are not going to remain the same. So for the doctor to be able to determine whether you need medications, this becomes an important reading. What are some of the things that would give or make one to have a false uh, reading? Now, uh, for us to call a blood sugar, a fasting blood sugar, the individual must have fasted. And 
they need to take this reading the first thing in the morning. But this is not always possible. For example, in Africa or in developing countries where patients are not empowered to have the machines to be able to, make, to take the measurements, we find that these patients have to go to hospital. Where they are and where the hospitals are is quite a distance. True. And a lot of these individuals, they have a lot of activities that they have to carry out. In the morning especially. Exactly. Take, for example, a, a, a man or a lady who is in the village. He has cows, he has goats, he has chickens. He cannot just wake up and rush to the doctor. He has to take care of his animals. So we mm. find that these individuals, they wake up very early in the morning. They go to the farm. They cut the napier grass. They feed their cows, they feed their chickens, they feed their goats, and then they walk for very long kilometers before they can be able to reach the doctor. True. Once they reach the doctor, the queues are huge and they have to wait. Finally, they reach the doctor and the doctor measures their blood sugars. Probably the sugars are going to be low. They are going to be raw because this particular person has undertaken very many uh, activities. The doctor is likely to look at the readings and actually see they are good, tell the patient they are good, and probably even congratulate the patient for maintaining raw sugars. Without the recognition and realization that the sugars were very, very high in the morning. Once the patient is told the sugars are good and they should continue to do what they are doing, uh, they continue with a bad lifestyle, they continue with high sugars because they are not aware and this greatly damages their systems. So it is important that we empower our individuals to have and to be able to do measurements at home. So we've already talked about activities before maybe going to the hospital. Do we have any other scenarios? Now, it is important sometimes for our doctors to be able to understand our patients. Many patients, when they go to the doctor and they have not regulated their blood sugars, the doctors are not happy. The doctors reprimand the patients. True. And sometimes the patients do not feel they want to be reprimanded. So I have heard of some patients mm -hmm. who literally will fast at night. They will take nothing in the night when they are going to see the doctor the oh, following really? morning. <laughs> and do you know why they have to do this? Yeah. It is because they do not want the doctor to realize that the blood sugars are high. Mm -hmm. They do not want to be reprimanded. Because of this fear of the doctor mm -hmm. and fear of being added medications, they take this decision. Yet they do not realize that high sugars do not hurt the doctor, high sugars hurt them. True. And in future, they are going to suffer for maintaining very high blood sugars without their knowledge and without doing anything about it. So with this in mind, what appeal do you have to diabetic patients? It is important for diabetic patients to be able to understand what are the implications of maintaining very high blood sugars. It is important for our patient to understand why we want to know the position of blood sugars because it helps us in decision making. It is therefore important for these patients to understand that the reprimand they get from the doctors is okay as long as they know what should they do in order to maintain their blood sugars low. We must appreciate that they are scared. They do not know wh what to do to maintain their sugars raw. And that is why the reprimand does not help them. And this is why this channel is here for you, to help you to understand what can you do to keep your blood sugars raw. So our dear viewers, hope you understand the reason why it is important to measure your blood sugar levels very early in the morning, immediately you wake up before you start any activities. And therefore we believe that you have found this information helpful and you'd really appreciate, even as we help you, that you can also help us. You can help us by watching our channel. You can help us by liking you can help us 
by subscribing, you can help us by sharing. And together, we shall help you to reverse diabetes and to be able to live better lives. We look forward to seeing you in our next episode and we trust that this episode has been helpful to you. May our God bless you. Thank you so much, viewers. Thank you, Teacher Wanjiko. We really appreciate the work you're doing and the passion you have for it. I've had discussions with you and I know your passion and it comes from the heart. So God bless you too and we are grateful. Thank you, Sela, for being with me today. I am sure our viewers have enjoyed our discussion for the day. God bless you and enjoy your time. Thank you, viewers. God bless you. And please like, share, and subscribe.